Okay, everybody, I'm going to do some quick training tonight, and um, I'm going to mute everybody real quick. And I'll meet y'all in a minute. Okay, so um, five steps to have a great end of the month, end of April. Okay, so number one is accept the fact that you must connect on social media to build your business right now. Because that is just the way it is. I know a lot of us, when it first started, you thought, I'm just going to wait because honestly, it's probably only going to be a couple weeks and we'll be right back. There's no need for me to get all into this. I'll just wait till it's over and I'll get back to doing what I I like to do and give out cards at Walmart and everything else, right? It's just going to be a little while till we are not supposed to, you know, that we got to get closer than six feet from people, right? Even when the store's open. So I want you to accept the fact that you need to learn how to um, work your business online, okay? And, that, and then you have to decide how you're going to do that. And so I'm going to give you just a, a, a number of things and you might say, I'm going to do all of them. And then you might say, I'm just going to concentrate on this one, okay? So it could be Zoom parties, where you do a party on Zoom. It could be Facebook group parties, where you do a group and you get a, um, a hostess and get a couple of people. It could be that you send samples and then you let everyone try it, okay? It could be a QVC style selling, where you're doing it on the back of your hand or on your own, on your own face that you're selling. Um, it could be Instagram, that you're working your Instagram posts. It could be your Facebook business page or your Facebook personal, I mean your group, customer group page that you work on. Um, and it's okay if you're just getting in the ball game, you know, because it takes seven times for people to kind of uh, hear something to actually remember it. So this is the seventh week or eighth week. So right now y'all thinking, okay, maybe I should do what everybody's saying. That's okay. I'm the same way. Sometimes I hear an idea and I'm like, it seems too complicated. And then, but after I've heard it seven times, I'm like, all right, I can do that. Right. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, don't assume that people aren't buying anything right now. Just like Larice said, everybody right now is looking for some way to spend their stimulus check <laughs> or the extra money that they haven't spent. Sally and I were talking about how we have spent no money except for the grocery store you know we're not having to buy gas in our car we're not you know out um you know buying starbucks every day you know we're just i mean you we have extra money because we're not spending any when you just sit at home right look at the computer um and really amazon's taking a couple weeks to get your stuff in so that's not even exciting right so there are women that are wanting to spend some money and i've had people really buy um things they've never tried before, you know, and they're a girl today, she said, what about that lash and brow serum? I said, yeah, I said, it works really good. I told her about it. She was, all right, give me one of those. Like she was, she was excited about getting something new, you know? So don't assume that people aren't spending the money because they really are. Okay. Um, and one great thing is on this same number is to call your people. And there's three things that you could ask them. Number one is a checkup call. This would be your customers. And you might just say, I'm going to call what have to set yourself a goal like Sayla's done, you know, five customers a day. If that seems like too hard, just say I'm gonna call three customers a day. I'm actually gonna talk to three customers a day. And first of all, you're gonna just chit chat. You know, how are you doing? How's your family? Excuse me. How's your family doing right now? And because even Mary Kay has called me and we were talking about the e start thing and she said, Hey, how are you doing? Then she says, Oh, well, but first before we start, how are you doing? How's your family doing? How, how's, as far as your city? You know, and so, like, they first wanted to show me that they actually care about me, right? And then they got into business. So I want you to think about that with your customers. And then, then you're gonna see if they're running low on anything. So maybe they already buy cleansing cream and moisturizer from you. You can say, hey, well, I noticed that you bought cleanser, you know, back in December. I just wonder if you were getting low on that. If there's anything that you're getting low on that I could help you and replace. And then the last one is, Say, I also wanted to see if I might could send you some samples of something, something that you haven't tried, or if you'd be willing to get a little group of your friends together for a little girls' night out where um, I send everybody some samples and we get together on Facebook or a Zoom call and try them together. I mean, so those are some things that you could ask your customer when you talk to them, okay? All right, number three, take advantage of the Skin Analyzer app. When we've talked about this before, but this is something, a new something that if you haven't talked to your customers about, they don't know about it. And we just had last night on the call, someone said that, um, that they scanned their face. And then the girl, when she said, what impressed you the most about it? She said, 
It was exactly what my doctor scanned my face, the exact results. So this isn't some Mickey Mouse scanner that's really not a, uh, you know, it's not legit. She said it is the exact same results on all the areas. So this is a high tech app that we have that we all we have to do is show our customers how to use it and ourselves so that we can, you know, recommend some new products to them to help their, their issues. So don't forget about that. Okay. Number four is that the, of course, Mary Kay e -Start. Um, We've had one week last week it started. We were so excited, right? And so this has been a great week um, this week just to have something new to talk to people about. Even if they don't do the e-start and they do the e-start plus the other, I mean, it's at least some excitement in the company and you can kind of feel it. You can feel it coming. And so uh, people are like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And this one gal that I talked about, um, she's a new consultant and she said, she said, oh yeah, we got our stimulus check. I said, well, I think a good thing would be is invest in your new business. She goes, I know. She goes, I'm gonna talk to my husband. <laughs> and so, you know what I'm saying? People are open, they're open to it. So um, reach out to some people and say, hey, I wanna just tell you about something new. And I've got that little six minute video that you can use. And it just tells a little bit about the company and it tells about the e-start and ask them that if they're interested at all to let you know and you can you know go into a little bit more details. Okay, so um, most of you have access to that. If you don't, ask your director and they, they have it already and they can get it from me, okay? And then number five is the um, Mother's Day selling. And so we y'all know there's a flash sale that ends tonight. And I've already had a bunch of people in my unit take advantage of it, but it's the three-in-one cleansing bar. It is the satin hands set, the white tea and citrus, and the extra mite night cream. And all of those are in a set. It's called a skin something bundle <laughs> so what is it y'all somebody put it in the chat whatever it's called i can't remember skin essentials bundle no that's not it but anyway whatever it is y'all know but it's 55 percent off and you can order up to 13 bundles uh while supplies last and so um i know that i i ordered three or four yesterday and then today i thought that's stupid you need to go ahead and order the other 10 because I mean, it's 55% off. You're always going to sell those satin handset. And then when I saw that list of 20 things that Extra Might Night Cream did, y'all see that post? 20 things for Extra Might Night Cream. I mean, it's like a miracle worker. Um, and then, of course, the three-in-one cleansing bar, there's a lot of uses for that, too. Not only wash your face, you can wash your body with it, you clean your brushes with it. So um, that is a great, great thing to do and get that 50 percent percent off and you can pass it on to your customers or you cannot you can just sell it straight and then um the last thing did i already say five mother's day is that what i'm talking about did i say number five mother's day yes number five was mother's day okay so you have 14 days after today that mother's day is may 10th 14 days left so anything that you want to sell for mother's day you have to order by the end of april I would not even wait till Thursday because that only gives you 10 days. I would, I would um, probably do it tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow, and then decide what you're going to do for Mother's Day. Like I'm going to focus on the satin body, the, the satin body set or the satin bag where it has the body care, the, um, you know, the satin hands and the satin lips. That's what I'm going to focus on. All right. So, um, think about what you're going to do for Mother's Day and go ahead and order that. So you'll have it in get you one ready, post some pictures of it on your group page, contact your guy friends, just text them and say, I got something you need to give to your mother, you know, and they'll go, what is it? How much is it? They say, I can go anywhere from 50 to 150. How much do you love your mother? She did give you life. I mean, let's think about it. What is she really worth to you? Jerome? <laughs> <laughs> right. And so you want to, you know, you want to say something like that and get those mother's day orders in. Okay. And then the last thing is you want to get your B. You know, don't be in that club that's called uh, If Only Club. That's when June 30th runs around and you're like, if only I had just worked in April. If only I got my B in, in April, I'd have done it every single month. But April, I just pretty much did nothing. So don't be that way. Get it in. You know you can sell it. And um, you got a few days left. You know, April is still in progress, which is really awesome, right? So that's just a few little tips that I had um, for everybody. and. Let me see right here. Hang on just a second. Okay, 
we've got a few minutes before she's going to come on. So, um, directors, I'm just just unmute yourself if you'd like to pop in, and um, and I'll unmute Lindy for me. So, if, any directors, just unmute yourself if you want to add anything to that or any kind of shout out that you want to do as far as an encouragement for everybody before our guest speaker comes on. I know y'all got something. I'll just second what you said about the um, time wise bar. I have to tell you, I use it too a lot of times when I'm in the shower, um, but I love to clean my brushes with that. It really gets the makeup, especially my foundation brush. And I take it and I just scrub that foundation brush in there and it, it gets that out better than so many other things. So it's great to have for yourself, but also for your customers. Um, and like, you, like she said, you know, men can use that too and, and it's, um, they're not feminine at all <laughs> so they won't they won't take it any kind of way but that's right it doesn't um, have any kind of a scent really right right so, so Brad always does it and then he brings me back the dish he's like I don't need this dish it's like throw it away I know so I have I just put all kind of mess in those little pink dishes <laughs> so anyway all right awesome okay and anybody okay. else have anything that they would like to say directors or otherwise so yeah, I just yeah I want to say um I ran into the store Michaels today just for a quick second and they still like, you know, that all the retail stores are sort of stuck in time from the day that they shut down. Like there was a lot of Easter stuff on all the Easter stuff was just sitting there. And so all the retail stores, because they have been shut down, have not promoted Mother's Day. Like Mother's Day is upon us and no one has heard a peep about it because the, you know, the virus has been the only topic of conversation. So if you will reach out, not only to your guy friends, but your, you know, just everyone, your girlfriend, because there is nowhere to shop. Like you said, Amazon, their shipping is, is late and the retail stores are opening, but it's very limited as to, like when I went into Michael's, they were letting one person in at a time. And so um, you can't, then you have to kind of scoot in and scoot out. So it's not like people are going to say, oh, let me just run to Belk and buy something for my mother or my wife or my, you know, the kid's grandmother. So really and truly, if you'll just, um, what I would do is just make a decision to do something simple and that you can kind of wrap your mind around like satin hands and then that body bag. Um, that's what I'm going to do. That body bag, who in the world would not want to buy that for the woman in their life, whoever that may, the grandmother, mother, the, you know, whoever it may be. So um, no one is out there open for, bit, for retail business, even though our state can open. A lot of stores aren't open and those stores that are open, but a lot, you know, a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm not going to venture out yet. Yeah. So, you know, you can say, I'll get a gift bag, I'll wrap it, I'll drop it at your door, and you will be a superhero. Don't forget to put a little gift certificate in there so that, that whoever receives it will call you for a virtual makeover. Okay. Especially, especially with the flash sale tonight, too. Um, that extra money at night cream, so many of your grandmothers love that product because they have drier skin. And so that's another staple that you could, in addition to doing Mother's Day, you say, well, you know, what about your grandmother? Is your grandmother still that's living? Right. Would you like to bless her this year too? Um, so that's a that's another just small gift that you could package up really cute for a grandmother too. All right, y'all. Especially we'll, when you can get it on sale. We may do some more at the end, but um, our guest speaker is on here. Whoop, whoop. So I'm going to pull up her accolades, and Miss Carla, you can go ahead and unmute yourself, um, and uh, if you're ready, if you're ready to go, you ready to go, Carla? I'm ready. I'm just trying to find my place in my notes here. Look I'll get it, it by the time so you get awesome. to. <laughs> I love this woman so much. So I'm going to mute everybody, but but um, her. And Carl, Carla, just go back and unmute yourself again, okay? Because we're recording this, and we're also streaming to our Facebook group page, Carla. So we're pretty excited to have wow. this streamed and everything else, all right? So okay. let me tell you a little bit about Carla. Um, Carla joined Mary Kay June of 1992. She debuted as a sales director June of 1994. Prior to Mary Kay, um, she, was an, she was a high school biology teacher and head coach. 
Um, she has a husband, Jeff, three grown daughters, Taylor, 24, Tori, 23, and Timber, 21. You got busy right there in those three years, didn't you? I did. <laughs> she, um, she's earned 15 Mary Kay cars to date. She's been in Unit Club eight times, the highest last year, 650,000. Woo! Woo! So I just remember having a great conversation in the pool. Uh, wasn't it just also Take me back. Take me back. Okay. Um, She's four times in the court of sharing, which means four different years she did 24 qualified team members or more, four times in the court of sales, three times triple star winner. She was the monthly Miss Go Give in December of 2001. Her highest check has been just over $14,000. And I like this. She says, the reason I decided to build it was to stay home with the baby. All right. The reason I continue to help to continue is to help other women do the same. Her most what she's most proud of is the fact that two of her oldest daughters are offspring sales directors. I didn't know that. That's the you didn't know? How did you not know that? I, I thought you knew that. I didn't know that. I didn't know yes. that. Yes. I love that. Okay. And she's most thankful for her relationship with Christ. Uh, she came to get to know him through her Mary Kay business. You guys, if you don't think this changes lives, you're, you're very mistaken. Benefits for her is a private school for all three of her children. She has driven free for 24 years. She has flexible free lifestyle for her husband and her. Lots of travel, having time to take over her father's business and passing it on. And so um, what I know about Carla is we are sisters in a lot of different ways because she played sports in high school and college. And when she talks and, you know, when you play sports, you have a different mentality because we were both had a coach probably that yelled at us and like, get back on the line. You fall down, you get back up, shake the blood off and get back out there. I mean, you know, um, I know, well, yeah, I mean, even so, she was, she was D1 softball and um, softball player. And so um, I was going to say it's not a contact sport, but it is when you slide into the bases. So no. oh, yeah. Yeah. Contact. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love you, Carla. She's from Michigan and um, yes. I'm so thankful to have you on the call tonight. So I'm going to let you just take it away, my friend. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm so glad to be in the same room with Cletus Cheetahs. This is so much fun. Yes, yes, yes. So what I've, what I've got for you is a little snippet from my, my um, career conference class. I was asked to teach the red jacket. So who is a red jacket? If you guys know how to do the, the um, you know how to do the reactions on your, can anybody give me a, a hand on the, ra or, or raise your hand? Who's a red jacket here or if you're a director, that's fine too. But I want to know who the red jackets are. Anybody? We several red, she, we got several directors. I know we got some red jackets. They may not know how to do the hand here, but oh, that's okay. That's anyway. okay. So uh, this is my class on red here. Jacket. But they all want to be, so you just <laughs> carry on. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I want to. I want to. What I was going to talk to the red jackets about is about growth mentality. And I know sometimes now that we're going through this whole COVID thing. You know, a lot of us maybe are our feet maybe stuck in the mud a little bit. And so, um, of course, that wasn't going on when I was planning the speech. It was just kind of starting to brew. But what I want to tell you is we have to really learn how to separate the facts from the feelings. And one of the things that's really carried me through my growth in Mary Kay, my almost 30 years in, is we really do, we really do, don't, we don't feel stuck if we have hope. And so if you're stuck right now in your business or you're stuck somewhere in this COVID thing and you're trying to figure it out, don't, it's okay. No, there's hope. There are people still achieving. There are people still doing it. So I'm going to start with a little bit of my I story and I hope that it does set off the slope of hope for you. So I started Mary Kay when I was 24 years old. It was the furthest thing from my mind. I, like, like she said, I was a jock. I did not have any, I wanted to be a high school teacher or I wanted to be a lab tech. I'm so glad I'm not a lab tech today. Oh my word, I'd be working 18 hours a day right now, you know, on the front lines of that kind of thing. But I was a science head. I loved science and math and I got a scholarship to play softball for Western Michigan University. That was a dream come true. As a little girl, I used to go to their games in Kalamazoo and watch this amazing nationally recognized team. So my dream was to pitch for them and I got to do that on a scholarship. And so when I graduated from, from college, I had this degree in biology and, um, I, and, a, and an education certificate. So I could either work in a lab with a microscope or I could work with kids. And I loved working with kids. So I wanted to be a high school teacher and I wanted to be a coach. So I graduated and then um, I got married and I got my little starter home and there was no job to be found. 
I was just sitting at home waiting. And I knew I did not want to go back to the big four. And what are the big four? Fast food, serving or bartending, nurse's aid, retail at the mall. All the things I'd done before. So I was stuck. I was really stuck in there. And my sister-in-law gets into Mary Kay. And I thought she, that was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard of in my life. I thought, well, I have a degree, so I don't need to be peddling lipstick. I know you don't, and you need this, but I don't. I was a real snot about it in my head. But she was only in Mary Kay for about three months, and she quit. And in that three months, all she did is bother me, bug me, badger me, bother me all the time. She would call me, and this is when we didn't have cell phones, didn't have social media, didn't have internet. So she was constantly calling my landline, and you know, there's no way to ignore that. You had to answer it, right? So I had to constantly answer, and I would say, sure, I'll be there to a guest night, and I wouldn't show, or sure, I'll be there to her meeting, and I wouldn't show. I did that to her a few times, and finally, after she did not give up, and finally, one time, she called, and I said, look, Shelly, I'm not interested in this. I, I, this is the furthest thing from my, what I want to do, but I'll tell you what, if you just take me to your leader, I'll sit down and have coffee, and I'll listen, and, um, and then you just stop bugging me about it. She said, deal. So I met them at a big boy for coffee. And I just fell in love with this little pink Cadillac director that sat across from me. I was kind of a snot. I wore my sunglasses inside the big boy. I had my arms folded. It was June. I had my black tank top on. And uh, here I was, this little athlete out of college. And she was so sweet and nice. She won me over in about five minutes. Now, I did have not grown up in a Christian home. I was a little rough around the edges. And she was just the nicest person. So I listened and what she told me, I, I really took to heart and my heart melted and I decided, you know what, I could do this, but I didn't have a hundred dollars. So I borrowed it from my daddy and I got started and all my teammates and all my girlfriends and all my college friends laughed at me. They all thought it was dumb and they all made fun of me and I almost quit over that. But I went back to my dad and he said, you know what? And he's an entrepreneur. He said, I've heard a lot of good things about Mary Kay and if anybody can pull it off, it's you. So I think you should just go for it and not worry about what everybody else thinks. And that was the best advice a 24-year-old girl that wasn't sure could have gotten. Now, my dad's a CFP, and he built his own investment firm. And about 15 years ago, he came to me and asked if I would be his succession plan. And because I love my daddy and he helped me out with my kit, um, I said, absolutely. So I did learn his business. I did get my securities license, and I do, I do financial advising as well, but not because I have to, because I choose to carry on his legacy but I have a good staff at the office, so I don't have to be there all the time. So it's, it's, I can do my Mary Kay and I can do that too. But I do that for my dad because he's been so good to me. So I just wanted to throw that in there. So I wanted to talk to you guys, I gotta get my glasses. I wanted to give you some, some practical, and I hope this helps somebody on here, but I know what it feels like to be new and I know what it feels like to be in Mary Kay a while. And I know what it feels like to go and I know what it feels like to be stuck and not know if I could ever get unstuck not know if I'm ever gonna be good enough to achieve the next thing. And the next thing could be a red jacket for you. The next thing could be DIQ for you. The next thing could just book somebody for a virtual appointment for you. The next thing could be a unit club, a Cadillac, or a million dollars. Whatever it is, there's always the next thing. And sometimes you feel stuck where you are and you can't seem to get yourself yes. out of it. So I'm gonna give you some practical tips to get unstuck, unstuck yourself, and grow. All right, get growing, get going and get growing. So the first thing I want to tell you, stop feeling helpless. Number one, stop feeling helpless because you're not. And I know you might feel suspended and you might feel like you're drowning and you might feel like you, there's nowhere to go. There's nobody else to call. There's nobody that's going to say yes. We just had this discussion at my, my Zoom meet, unit meeting. Stop feeling helpless because you're not. So I'm going to be tough on you. I'm tough, like Lita said. I came from athlete background, so I don't pull any punches. I tell you like it is because I love you and I want you to achieve. Someday I want you to run up to me at a seminar or leadership and shake me and say, Carla, that time you said, I'm not feeling helpless. Well, I stopped feeling helpless and I got busy. So I want you to, I want to coach you there that you have to train your mind. The adversary will tell you that you are, but you are not. Your feelings are not the facts. You might feel one way, but that is not the fact. The fact is that this is a numbers game. It always will be, it always has been, and it always will be from now on. So if you just work your numbers, you're gonna find your achievement. And this is the problem. If you're not achieving, then, then you go, you're not working the numbers, all right? If you ask, you will receive. If you try, you will get results. 
tomorrow's a new day. God's going to open up more doors of favor if you just step out in faith and, and try. So number two is take responsibility for being stuck. Take responsibility for being stuck. Why are you stuck? Well, maybe it's because you haven't worked the numbers very much since COVID started because you've been not sure what to do. So you're stuck because of that. Or maybe it's because you were a red jacket and you fell out and you don't think anybody else will say yes, so you just stopped asking. Or maybe you're stuck because you're trying to become a director and you've been DIQ 14 times. Incidentally, unless you've been DIQ 13 times, don't complain. Not that I went through it 13 times, but I met a lady in Fort Wayne, Indiana that submitted DIQ 13 times before she actually made it. And now she's, now she's in her Equinox and she's doing great. I think I would have given up after five. Mm -hmm. I think I would have. I think I would have said, this ain't gonna work. Thir can you guys just, 13 times? Wow, I'm just like, there's, there's two camps, right? There's, there's the ones that persevere and the ones that quit. 13 times, I just think that's a wonderful. So take responsibility for being stuck and ask yourself, why are you stuck? And really look at it and own it. See, it's the fear and anxiety that plagues a lot of women. And I get that, okay? Fear and anxiety plagues a lot of women. But this is how you get over fear and anxiety. You have to totally embrace it. You have to totally grab it, let yourself feel it. And because our brain wants to, feel, wants to go there. That's how we're made. That's our defense mechanism. So you're going to feel fear and you're going to feel anxiety about a lot of different things. But the, the, the key is not to power. The key is to go ahead and feel it and say, I'm feeling this fear and anxiety. And I'm just going to go ahead and own it and learn how to cope with it. And I'm going to go ahead and take action in it. You have to take action in it. That's the only way to get rid of it. So take responsibility for being stuck. Find out what is making you stuck. Take responsibility for it. And then start taking action. Number three, write down, I'm more amazing than I think. I'm more amazing than I think. See, women are too hard on themselves. They think they're not this or they're not that or they're not good enough or I'm not as pretty as Cleta, or I'm not as, you know, it, whatever. You know, you just, I don't know. I, I can't. Women, you're more amazing than you think. You are enough. I promise you. The people that God has picked out for you to be your customers, the ones that are going to say yes to you, the ones that are going to join with you, the ones that are going to be your future unit or your future area, they're picked out just for you. And if you don't continue, you won't get them. So you have to keep going and you have to realize you are enough just as you are. Number four, realize that when we're stuck, we chew on ourselves, just like a caged animal. So be kind to yourself, extend yourself some grace. Don't chew on yourself. <laughs> All right. Number five, this is the most important one. And this is what took me from being stuck at circle of achievement into circle of excellence. And that was building my muscle of abundant belief. Mm -hmm. You can't afford to let anything come in your mind that tells you you can't. If you get those thoughts, take responsibility for them, take them captive and throw them out. Don't let anything in. See, Satan has a goal poster and your, name, your face is smack dab in the middle of it. it he, you're on his goal poster. He wants to take you down. He wants his boot on your throat and keep you down forever. So he uses all of his tools. If you have abundance belief and you train your brain to have abundant thinking and to have belief in you and to have courage and to believe that you're good enough, none of his tools will work. That's number five. Number six, who is inputting into your life? Who is inputting? Now, I always say, you know, take inventory of the five people you hang out with. My five people changes all the time. So I can't, I can't really go by that. But I, want, I take inventory of who's inputting into my life. Who is saying things to me? If it's your spouse, if it's your child, if it's your mother, if it's your father, if it's your nosy neighbor, if it, who is it? And, and is it helpful or is it harmful? And if it's helpful, you keep, you keep letting them input. If it's, if it's harmful, you delete. You delete and you rewind every single time. And you gotta be able to recognize it because if you don't, it's gonna come in and it's gonna affect your business. It will affect your business. So be willing to recognize who's inputting into your life and change it. Sometimes you just got to zip it, lock it, and put it in your pocket. Just forget it. You know, just, you got to go there sometimes. I like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number seven, feelings versus facts. Are you running your business on feelings or are you running it on facts? Usually if you're feeling discouraged, you're running it on feelings. The facts are you're going to get ignored. 
The facts are people are not going to respond sometimes. The facts are some people are going to say no. The facts are some people will break your heart and quit. The facts are that if you ask enough people, none of that matters. So is it the feelings or the facts that we're running our business on? Check your heart. If you're feeling discouraged, you're usually because you're focused too much on your feelings and not enough on the facts. So think, act like a woman, think like a woman, but act like a man. All right, facts over feelings. I love that one. I have to go that one a lot. Number eight, master the basics. Master the basics. Don't expect anybody to spoon feed you. Don't expect Cleta to spoon feed you. You got to do it yourself. You got to master the basics. And here's the basics. How to book somebody. How to hold an effective interview. I'll add the four-point recruiting plan. I'll kiss you up and down if you can give it to me right now. One, two, three, four. A lot of people don't know it. But that's one of the basics. Okay? So book somebody. Do an interview. Do the four-point recruiting plan. And how to close a sale. Those are the basics, master them, master them. It's not, it's not, you know, I don't know, what's, what's, a, what's an arbitrary thing that people focus on too much sometimes? I don't know, help me out, Cleta. Organizing their inventory. Thank you, that's what I'm looking for. Organizing inventory, picking out shelves, um, making up a goal poster. Um, those are avoidance things. And that's what we do when we're feeling fear and anxiety. We're either gonna avoid it, right? Or we're going to seek constant reassurance or there's a third one and I can't it's escaping me right now avoiding um distractions so we're either going to avoid it all together we're going to distract ourselves by organizing product or we're going to need constant reassurance when you're under fear and anxiety Continuing so number eight is training, training training yes thank you the constant training number nine numbers will never fail you so track your numbers and they make you feel better about what's going on. And number 10 is your business is a reflection of you. So if you don't like it, make the steps to change it and ask Cleta or your director to have an honest conversation with you about it if you're really wanting to move up and change. Just water your own grass. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Fall in love with your past. It, it's what made you and shaped you. So don't cry over it. Fall in love with it, including your Mary Kay past okay to start over once twice or three times i've got a woman in my unit it's going into diq may one it's her third time going into directorship she was been in other two two other areas before she hasn't been in mary Kay in 15 years she joined with my me she's going back in again it, it's okay fall in love with your past it's what made you and go on a I'll put a social media detox as a, a tip but we don't need that right now you need to be on social media so i'm going to say a news detox yeah. detox <laughs> yourself from the news okay you don't need that right now can't change it anyway. Be your own best friend and take your own dream back. I have a story where I let my dream go. When you're writing your own story, don't let anybody else hold the pen. I let somebody else hold the pen for about 10 years. I, I call it my Mary Kay coma. I went into complete, I was, I was a, I had seven first line. I had, all of them were seniors. All of them had cars. We, I had two DIQs. We were knocking on the door of national and all of a sudden my husband leaves and I go through a very painful, awful divorce and I got bitter instead of better. And I felt sorry for myself and I totally turned my back on my Mary Kay. Big mistake, big mistake, but it's part of my past. And for 10 years, I didn't go to a leadership, a career conference, a seminar, nothing. And I was going to let Mary Kay just fade to black and let it go. My Cadillac turned into a Malibu. My 150 unit members went down to 70. And I was going to let it all go. All of my offspring quit. And God promised me that he would restore everything if I would walk with him and obey. And I totally turned my back. So for 10 years, I let somebody else hold the pen to my life. And then I got my dream back. So that's the last point. Take your dream back. When I took my dream back and I really got involved again in my own writing of my own story, God did restore everything I'd lost. The Cadillac came back. The unit clubs came back. The top trip arrived. I've got six, almost six offspring now. So everything was restored better than it ever was. And two of them are my precious baby girls that are my offspring. So just really hang on, never quit. Really get on, make yourself get unstuck and don't let anybody help hold that pen. Have the courage to self-coach. Have the courage to talk to your 
director and if you feel if you feel like you don't know what to do just quit talking and start doing and you'll always find your way out of that trap mm. carla that's it so hang on that was so amazing <laughs> i like that oh that's cute God. thank you so much i'm just sitting here thinking this is the smartest thing I've ever done is have you talk to my people. I mean, I, every time I hear you speak, it's better and better. And um, number one, you're just so real. And everything you say, we've all done it. We've all done it. And so it's like, Girl, we're not alone. I know. I just back into reality. So I want everybody, I'm going to open the gallery view. Just unmute yourself if you would like to affirm Carla or if you have a question for Carla. I'm I like to Carla. affirm Carla. Um, hi, my name is Sheila Brown, and hi, I Sheila. <laughs> and I was one of uh, lucky enough, blessed enough to be one of her personal recruits. Um, she had me at your skin is so porcelain, and I was like, my skin is white. <laughs> um, anyway, um, <laughs> she had me at that, but um, I would like to affirm her and. Uh, as she is my personal recruit and she has been my mentor even as I have been out of Mary Kay and it was my senior director. Um, and you are very blessed. Uh, I'm, I, Kalita, I've, I've heard great things about you from Carla, but she is a top notch inspirer. Is that a word? Encourager. <laughs> Sheila, I didn't even know you were on here. I told her, I gave her your, your Zoom. I'm like, hop on with me because yeah. she couldn't make my meeting. And I did, I'm, the whole time I'm like, look at that cute blonde over there. I didn't even know it was her. Hilarious. I love oh, it. Oh, Sheila, I'm so glad you're on. Thank you, honey. I, I took notes. The only thing I want to share with you is when you said Satan has our, our goal poster, he has our soul poster. Yeah. So, yes, he does. And he's, great he's, job. Going, he's trying to come after it. Yeah. Don't let him. Love you, Shishi. Hey, I'm going to unmute Janet. I know you had something. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say, wow, so powerful and so needed because although some of those seem like simple things that we should know daily, we forget. We forget those little things that are so important, knowing our path, um, taking back our dream because we easily let things slip by and, um, and almost forget the small things that are the most important to keep us powerful and keep us in, on the right path. So thank you. You're thank so you. welcome. Janice, one of my beautiful offspring sales director, her, Janice Jaguars. Nice to meet you, yes. Jan. Oh, the che cheetahs and the jaguars. I like the theme. I wore my cheetah earrings for cheetahs, Cletus cheetahs here. So glad you wore jaguar earrings. <laughs> Okay, who else would like to say something to Carla? Hey, Carla, this is Sayla. Um, I'm one of Cletus Offsprings, and wow, you were so inspiring. And what I love most is when you said, if you're not getting the results, you're not working the numbers, because it is a numbers game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I could listen to you every morning and just go, 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 go. That was awesome. Sayla's <laughs> um, son played D1 baseball, and so... She's a oh, so you know, you know yeah. about, about the D1 schedule and oh, yeah, oh, and the absolutely. practices. Yes, no, oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Who else would like okay. to say something? Hey, this is Laurie. I'm another one of her offspring as well. And I just love what you said about build that muscle of abundant belief. And I, I took a lot of notes, and I just really appreciate you taking the time to pour into us and our people as well. And I look forward to meeting you in person someday. So, absolutely. thanks so much. Thank you, Laurie. I appreciate that. And I have my Michigan director, Lindy Blair, on here. Lindy, I, I did unmute um, you. If you'd like to say something. Hi there. I enjoyed everything you had to say. And the fact of, I my story is, is I've been with Mary Kay for 15 years, and I kind of fell out for about nine years. And a couple years ago, I made the decision to come back. And actually, it was because Cleta came into town and I went to go meet her and I hadn't talked to Cleta in so long, hadn't seen her in probably we figured 10 years. And I walked into this room and Cleta didn't even know who I was. But to hear, you know, you can have that moment where you're out of Mary Kay and, and but it's something 
grabs you and takes you and gets you back into it. And so that's what happened to me. So to hear, you know, you talk about that was, was pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah, I know what that feels like. I was out of it for a long time. I didn't think I'd ever come back. Yeah. And, um, and, but you know what, God, God brings you around. If it's meant to be, he'll bring you to it. He'll draw you to it. That's yeah. right. Lindy's up in the, uh, in the UP in St. St. Marie. Oh, really? Oh, this is one of those. Yeah. Ah, yes. The one and only. <laughs> yes. Cause Cleta's down in Georgia. I know she's got a whole group up here in yes. Michigan in the UP. That's so That's awesome. Why. Yep. And her and Belinda Johnson down in, um, Flint and they have brought me a lot of people. So anyway. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. Is that Stephanie? Is that Stephanie Daymeyer down there? I see her. Yes. Hi, Demi. Hi, honey. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about you. Great. I know you haven't. I know you haven't. Thank you. And uh, you saying I am more amazing than I think. Very nice. You are so more amazing than you actually think. Yeah. And one day you will realize it. Um, just just hang on to that belief until you do. Yeah. If it's not today. Yeah. That's, uh, that is my girl now. She's an adopted cheetah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Everybody loves Stephanie. Yep. Anybody else want to say something? Uh, I just want to say thank you. I really enjoyed it. And um, it's just kind of amazing how God works. My sister and I were talking today about um, just how God's timing's everything. And then for you to say this tonight, we were, you know, just putting a lot of things in perspective today. And, um, stuff's going on with my parents and all and um it's just kind of amazing how it all comes together with you know everything we're just trying to make some decisions and you can't make decisions for your parents you just try but you know right. so um I just thought it was amazing and you know it, I really appreciate it thank you so much you are so welcome Rachel thank you for saying that and I hope whatever situation with your parents gets resolved I know all too well what that's like and so does Sheila so, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to say something before we end? Hey, it shook. I do. I want to say thank you. Um, I really, the one that spoke to me most was that I, I am more amazing than I think. Um, and also that you just need to water your own grass. Your business is a reflection of you. I often um, compare myself to other people and then it just, it just knocks you down. So that's going to be my new phrase, water my own grass. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just water your own garden. Pay attention to you. I love that, Suge. That's so Suge, cute. I, that's what I call my husband. I have to call her Suge, too. Suge. I like it when you said, zip it, lock it, and put it in your pocket. In your pocket. I love that. I've never heard. I love sayings like that. I don't have to remember that. I one. got that from Cindy Grass. Put it in your pocket. Yeah. Zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. Sometimes we need to shut up. We're our own worst enemy. We can tell tell ourselves we're whole, so horrible. And sometimes that's better just to just give yourself some grace. So true. So true. Okay, yes. ladies. Well, um, thank you for your feedback. Carla, you're amazing. We're going to end with a prayer tonight. Okay. And so um, I was going to see if Sayla, would you like to just end us with a prayer tonight with our unit meeting? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still on mute? Am I unmuted? You're unmuted. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. If you would bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, well, we just thank you so much for this day. I thank you for each and every person that is on this call tonight. Lord, we thank you for taking us through this time, a time in history that we've never lived through before. And we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your protection, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for allowing your light to shine through us. I thank you for going before us and making our crooked paths straight. Lord, I thank you for blessing our businesses. I ask you to bless each person on this call. Each person here, Lord, has issues at home with children, family, loved ones who could possibly be sick, big decisions that they're making, Lord. But we know that you know every what is on the heart of each person on the call. And I just ask you to be with them, to guide them, lead them, protect them, Lord. I ask you for a special blessing of protection around all of us as some as our state in particular lessens the restrictions and people are out and about more, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you um, in his precious name we pray, amen. 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 Or as the Alabama people say, amen.
Amen. <laughs> Amen. Um, we thank you so much, Carla, for just giving us your time tonight. I love you, dear. My pleasure. I love you for six. She's all right. Her unit has, I think, did you say 16 or 17 new recruits already? 16 new agreements this month. Thanks so to you. Um, Miss $30. Hey, listen, come on now. So that's, listen, we got to catch up, right? We yeah. can't let the Michigan people out recruit the South <laughs> Georgia people. <laughs> Right. So uh, we're running like a cheetah to catch up with you, girl. And um, thank you so okay. much. And for our um, for our cheetah nation, I just want to thank y'all for coming on in tonight. For all of you on Facebook, I see we got a lot of um, comments on Facebook too. So thank y'all so much for hopping in on Facebook. The great thing is it is recorded. Y'all can watch it again on Facebook. And I will also um, just put a little link on YouTube for this because I think this would be anytime you're down, just go back and listen to what Carla just said. And I think that you'll say, all right, own it, get your big girl's panties on, zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket, right. <laughs> and you guys, I'm going to have some other guest speakers um, because I got a lot of people I've helped do a lot of things on the computer and it's payback time. So I'm thinking it is. a lot of top directors, if I can have 15 or 20 minutes of their time to speak on our unit calls. So um, y'all don't miss it. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have a powerful next five or six weeks. and. Um, we're going to come out better on the other side, for sure. So thanks again for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and unmute, and you guys can uh, be on your merry way. And um, thank you so much again for calling in, chiming in, Facebooking in, and everything else. So bye, everybody. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great bye. week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. So good to see all these people. Awesome, awesome. Okay, see you later, everybody. Oh, let me stop my recording. That will be good. <laughs>